want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, how can I start my investment in stock trading? Answer by Shubham Bansal. Before you start the actual trading, you need to get the theoretical knowledge and some practical exposure on the virtual trading platform. You need to spend 36 months on increasing your theoretical and practical knowledge. After that, if you tend to take high risks, only then invest directly into equities otherwise, invest part of your money in nice balanced mutual funds. They have highly qualified fund managers who try, and mostly succeed, to give you good returns on your investment. Following are some advice I want to give. 1. Do not invest all your savings in stock market and in no case, borrow money to invest. As you are a new investor, I would recommend you to invest only 3,040% of your savings in equities and mutual funds. 2. Diversify. Yes. No matter how good a company's stock seems, do not invest all your money in one company or one mutual fund. There are numerous examples like Satyam or Reliance underperformed markets for 8 years, Reliance power trading at less than one-fifth of its IPO price, which were slash are considered good companies but wiped off people's savings. Through diversification, if you lose money in one, you will earn in others. 3. Do not put all your money in one go. Invest like SIPs. If you wish to invest say, 20,000 rupees, invest 5,000 rupees in 4 times. This way you will be saved from the market fluctuations. It's a great risk. Hedging mechanism for both old as well as new investors. 4. Initially, only invest in blue chip stocks and have patience as they do not give quick returns but they are solid and safer stocks. I hope the answer helps you. Best of luck. Answer by Jose L. Nimmons. In order to buy stocks, you can either use an online broker, or seek the assistance of a stockbroker who is licensed to purchase securities on your behalf. Online brokers. Most people these days use online brokerages rather than traditional human stockbrokers. For online brokerages, the cost is usually based on a per transaction or per share basis, allowing you to open an account with relatively little money. Popular online brokers include TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, E-Trade, and Options House. They are easy to use. You sign up for an account online and transfer funds into it, kind of like opening a bank account, only much simpler. Once your account has funds in it, you can place an order. You can either pick the stocks you know you want, or use the search feature to filter stocks by criteria. Most online brokerages work in a way similar to the Investopedia stock simulator, explained in this helpful article. Full Service Brokers Full Service Brokers are the traditional stockbrokers who take the time to sit down with you and get to know you personally and financially. They look at factors such as, marital status, lifestyle, personality, risk tolerance, age, time horizon, income, assets, debts and more. Full Service Brokers then work with you to develop a financial plan best suited to your investment goals and objectives. They can also assist with estate planning, tax advice, retirement planning, budgeting and any other type of financial advice, hence the term full service. They can help you manage all of your financial needs now and for the rest of your life, if need be. These types of brokers are for those who want everything in one package. In terms of fees, they are more expensive than discount brokers but the value in having a professional financial advisor by your side can be well worth the additional costs. Accounts usually can be set up with as little as $1,000. Money managers are somewhat like financial advisors but may take full discretion over a client's account, hence the term manager. These highly skilled investment professionals usually handle very large portfolios of money and thus, charge hefty management fees based on the assets under management and not for transaction. They are basically for those with substantial incomes, who would rather pay someone to fully manage their investments while they're out playing golf. Minimum account holdings can range from $100,000 to $250,000 or more. Answer by Mudassir Hassan. There are many things you can do. There are many books available in market. Choose few good ones and read. But remember you cannot learn swimming until you step in water. Secondly follow and analyze how markets are moving. Would all news and things push it up or pull it down? Open your account with good brokerage firm. Start initially with small amount. The loss or gain of which will not affect your financial condition considerably. Read the blog. Beginner's Guide for Investment in Indian Share Market, Investment Tips, Share Market Tips. 
trading tips, and also, how to pick a good stock for intraday trading, investment tips, share market tips, trading tips, and my answer. Mudasu Hassan's answer to I am a student interested in investing in the stock market with zero idea of how it works. Where should I start?